Coach, we'll get started with Anthony Chang. Thanks, Bo. Um, after that, you know, sharp first quarter, Phoenix is obviously a very good defensive team. What were they able to do uh, to limit you guys in the end of the court, you know, in the final three quarters? Uh, they got into us. Um, and, uh, you know, against a good defense like like they are, uh, you have to do things with precision, you know, you know with energy, with bursts, with detail, uh, and the ball's got to move. You know, they, you know, are, are similar to us when we're our, at our best version, you know, um, they can get you to hold the ball a little bit longer and miss moments. Um, and they did a great job of, of that. And, and I thought we were defending pretty well uh, in the half court, you know, early on. And, uh, you know, they started to um, pick up the tempo a little bit and they got some easy ones in transition and that, that got them back into the game. And then they just took control from there. And there was a scary moment there in the fourth quarter with Jimmy going down. How much of it was a relief that he was able to get back in there? Did he tell you he wanted to get back in despite it being kind of a double? Yeah, episode? he and Rondo uh, did. Um, you know, and he's, he's done that before, but uh, we were all, you know, obviously had eyes wide open with him on that. And um, it was an unfortunate play, um, you know, one that should have been called a, a, a foul and, and and very likely a, a flagrant too. When you, that's a dangerous play. Um, so we'll just see. It. We'll have to see how he feels tomorrow. Thank you. Up next, we go to Ira Winderman. Eric, was it just a case on the offensive end of shots not falling? Were you not? No, getting... no, it, it was not. You know, they're a very good defense, uh, and they did that similarly to us in, in Miami. Um, got us out of you know, our, our normal um, flow um, flattened us out a little bit. And then, like I said, um, you know, things started to, to slow down and, and, and we were holding the ball a little bit, uh, you know, too much, but that's a credit to their defense. They, they do that to a lot of teams and, and uh, you know, they, all your decisions have to happen a little bit quicker. Um, your rotation is center. Uh, you went with Precious, you got a couple early fouls. You went with Nemanja for a while, then Nemanja first in the second half. Then Precious, where do you sort of stand on on who you decide and how you play that out with your reserve center? Yeah, they both bring um, things that we need, you know, to the table. Um, and a lot of it just depends on um, the tone of the game and, and what we feel is, is best for that moment. And then in a game like this, um, are, are there moments you would wish that BAM would be more aggressive or are there just times the way the game sets up that maybe it's not there for him? Thank you. Yeah, it all depends. I mean, uh, we definitely need uh, to get him the ball uh, in, in, in certain spots, you know, and, and in, a, in our normal flow. But again, you know, they were, you know, they got us out of uh, our normal actions, our normal rhythm. Um, we could uh, have been, you know, much better for sure. But, uh, you know, let's not discredit, you know, the type of defense that they've played all year. Um, They've been very good on that end of the floor, extremely underrated, which I don't know why. You know, most people talk about their offense, but they're one of the um, the toughest defensive teams to play, um, you know, in this league. Next, we'll go to Cooper Moorhead. Spo, you're, um, you're not going to see a Chris Paul team stay uncomfortable offensively for an entire game usually, but what's the difference between a game like tonight and then a game like Portland the other night where against Portland, it seemed like, you were being disruptive the whole night. And tonight there was just that pocket at the beginning of the game. And then the rest of the time, Phoenix got progressively more comfortable. Yeah. You know, and, and I think, you know, when they're able to control the game a little bit offensively and get after us, you know, we're, we're not in our normal flow, you know, offensively, um, you know, your activity, you know, starts to, to lessen, you know, a, a little bit. And, you know, they have two, you know, really good de decision makers, you know, um, CP is a Hall of Fame decision maker. He's not going to make a lot of mistakes. You're not going to be able to speed him up. And, um, you know, they move the ball well. They have three-point shooting. And, um, you know, we're probably not as, as sharp, you know, with, with some of the things as, as, as we have been and, and, and need to be against a team like this. But, again, you have to credit them. Uh, there's a lot of things that they were doing, you know, to, to counter, you know, our normal strengths. All right, coach. Thank you. Thank you.